Welcome. In this video, we're continuing our discussion of how to compute the area of regions bounded by curves. So in this example, you're asked to first sketch a graph of y equals x minus 1, then y squared equals x, excuse me, 2x plus 6. And you're going to use this graph to set up an integral representing the area of the enclosed region. So take a moment to make a sketch. Please pause your video, either do a sketch manually or use technology. Okay, as you can see, I have a sketch that I created using technology, namely using GeoGebra. And right here in blue is y equals x minus 1. And in green is y squared equals 2x plus 6. And let's go ahead and sketch a representative rectangle. Now remember, in your representative rectangle, you want to make sure that rectangle, no matter where you move it, will touch both curves, so both the green curve and the blue curve. So what if I sketched my rectangle here like this? I see it touching both the green curve and the blue curve, but I need to make sure it touches the green curve and the blue curve no matter where I move it to. So now I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to resketch my rectangle over here. Uh-oh, do you see what the problem is? The rectangle to the left only touches the green curve, completely neglecting to touch the blue curve. That means this cannot be a representative rectangle. So let me try a rectangle oriented differently. Here is my next attempt at a representative rectangle. And as you can see, we touch the green curve and the blue curve. What if I were to sketch it here? We again touch the green curve and the blue curve. What about here? Yep, again, we touch the green curve and the blue curve, so we're good. Our rectangles have to be horizontal in this direction, and the small part is this base here is then parallel to which axis? You're right, it's parallel to the y-axis. That tells us we're going to integrate with respect to y. Let's go ahead and set up our integral. So I'm going to have the integral, so my area is going to equal the integral of something dy. In this direction, it touches first the blue curve and second the green curve. So the blue curve will be written first in our integral. And then from that, we're going to subtract, and I'm going to run out of space, so let me move this. We're going to subtract the green curve. And notice I purposely did not write anything in. Let's go ahead and write one of these in. Anyone will do. So how about I write in x minus 1? And I'm going to ask you to take a look at this and see if this looks correct. Does the integral of x minus 1 look correct with a dy here? Well, if we did it with respect to y, this would just be a constant, and we'd get y x minus 1, which is not what we actually want. So we need to rewrite this. So the function is in terms of y. So let's take a quick moment and rewrite this in terms of y. So y equals x minus 1 can be rewritten as x equals y plus 1. So there we are. We've rewritten this as a function of y. And I can write y plus 1 here. Let's go ahead and do this again with our green curve. I have y squared equals 2x plus 6. So y squared minus, excuse me, 6 equals 2x, or y squared over 2 minus 3 equals x. Okay, let me rewrite this so it's a little neater. And actually, before I forget, let's include our limits of integration. So what are these intersection points? Take a moment and use either algebra or technology to figure these out. Okay, now that you've paused your video and found these intersections, you should have negative 1, excuse me, I almost wrote the wrong number down, negative 2 is one intersection, and 5, 4. So which of these will be our limits of integration? Am I going to use negative 1 and 5, or am I going to use negative 2 and 4? If you said negative 2 and 4, you're correct. Now, why are we using negative 2 and 4? Remember, our integrals with, with respect to y, so we're using our y values as our limits of integration. Let's go ahead and rewrite this so it looks a little neater. So I have the integral of negative 2 
to 4 of negative y squared over 2 plus y plus 4. And from here, I really want to get rid of the fractional part. So my area is actually equal to 1 half times the integral uh, from negative 2 to 4 of negative y squared plus 2y plus 4, excuse me, not plus 4, plus 8 dy. All right, so the area finally becomes, and I'll write it here as best as I can since I'm running out of space still, Neg 1 half times negative y cubed over 3 plus y squared plus 8y, and that's evaluated from negative 2 to 4, which you can do on your calculator. Pause this video and try it before you see what I write down, and you end up with 18. I hope this video was helpful.